If you like the video please subscribe Technical PCT channel and click the bell icon to get the latest videos. Already previous class completed PUC on mean value theorem. Today we are going to discuss objective on mean value theorem. Okay, na? Already PUC completed. Today we are going to discuss objective on mean value theorem. Okay, na? Ready? First question. Find the value of C. Find the value of C. Find the value of C by rules theorem. By rules theorem for the function. f of x is equal to 1 minus x power 4 by 3 1 minus x power 4 by 3 on minus 1 comma 1. Okay, na? this objective. Find the value of c by rules theorem for the function f of x is equal to 1 minus x power 4 by 3 on the interval minus 1 comma 1. In PUC, PUC find the value c means first we have to verify it is Rolls theorem is applicable or not. How to verify first condition it is continuous, second one is differentiable, third one is f of a equal to f of b. If three conditions are satisfied, then we'll go to find C value. That is by using F dash of C is equal to C. Okay, na? Here directly find the value of C by rules theorem for the function F of X is equal to 1 minus X power 4 by the on the interval minus 1 comma 1. Directly find F dash of C. F dash of C is equal to 0. F dash of C is equal to 0. It is f of x. It's a derivative. Derivative of 1 is 0. Na? Minus. Derivative of x power n form. n. x power n minus 1. Here instead of x is a c. So 4 by 3. c power 4 by 3 minus 1. That is 1 by 3 is equal to 0. Okay na? It is 0 divided by minus 4 by 3 constant. It is also... 0. C power 1 by 3 is equal to 0. X is equal to 1 minus X power 4 by 3 on the interval minus 1 comma 1. The rules theorem how to find C value? F dash of C is equal to 0. It is F of X. Find the derivative. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of X for N form. N X power N minus 1. Okay, na? So, it is a derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of x power n formula n, x power n minus 1. That is a 4 by 3 minus 1. Okay, na? 4 by 3 minus 1. It is 1 by 3. It is equal to 0. 0 divided by constant 0. Then we get c power 1 by 3 equal to 0. Clearly, c value 0. Okay, na? Right. Okay, na? Right. Next. Second question. Ready. If if f of x satisfies the rules theorem if f of x satisfy rules theorem on a comma b on the interval a comma b if f of x satisfy rules theorem on a comma b then the value of then the value of integral of a to b 
f dash of x dx is equal to it is integration okay na if f of x satisfies the rolls theorem on the interval a comma b then the value of c integral of a to b f dash of x dx is equal to it is integration it is a differentiation you know that the derivative of x derivative of x is equal to 1 it is f dash means a derivative it is integration for example integral of 1 dx it is x integration and differentiation both the reverse process derivative of x is 1 integral of 1 reverse okay na integral of 1 dx is equal to x plus c it is a c value approximate okay na so here differentiation integration both are reverse process both are reverse process it is the integral of a to b f dash of x dx is equal to okay na integral a to b f dash of x dx is equal to already you know that integration and differentiation both are reverse process so integration into differentiation remove we get only function that is f of x okay na okay it is integration it is a differentiation both are reverse process integration into differentiation remove then we get only function that is f of x limit is a to b limit is a to b then first upper limit f of b minus f of a but here given the function is satisfy the rolls theorem according to rolls theorem third condition f of a is equal to f of b we know that by rolls theorem by rolls theorem f of a is equal to f of b third condition okay na here f of x lower limit a upper limit b so f of b minus f of a according to rolls theorem f of a is equal to f of b clearly it is f of a minus f of b one positive value and another negative value we get c okay na once again listen this one if f of x satisfy rolls theorem on the interval a comma b then the value of integral of a to b f dash of x dx okay na integration and differentiation both are reverse process okay na derivative of x is 1 integral of 1 is x okay na both the reverse okay na so integral of a to b f dash of x dx is equal to f of x integration and differentiation both are in f of x limit is a to b first upper limit f of b minus f of a already given the function is satisfies rolls theorem so according to rolls theorem f of a is equal to f of b so clear instead of f of b f of a minus f of a. one is a positive value another is a negative value positive minus negative okay na then you get g right that is nice. third question third one the value of c the value of c the value of c of rolls theorem for the function for the function f of x is equal to sin x 
माइनस साइन टू एक्स इन जीरो टू पाइस द वैल्यू ऑफ सी ऑफ रोल सी थीरम फॉर द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स माइनस साइन टू एक्स इन द इंटरवल जीरो टू पाइ ओके ना हाउ टू फाइंड सी वैल्यू एफ डैश ऑफ सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो बाय रोल सी थीरम एफ डैश ऑफ सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स What about the dash of x? Derivative of the sine is a cos. The dash of x is a cos x. The dash of c it is a cos c minus derivative of the sine two x that is a two cos two x. But here c so it is two cos two c. Derivative of sine x is cos x. Sine two x is a two cos two x is equal to zero. Then it is a cos c minus two into. Now it is a cos two theta alpha. Cos two theta is equal to two cos square theta minus. Okay, na cos two theta formula two cos square theta minus one. Cos two c two cos square c minus one. Now it is a quadratic equation in terms of cos. First cos square. It is a four cos square c minus cos c minus two is equal to zero. Okay, na? It is a minus four cos square. Then what are it? Is a plus four cos square. What are it? Is a plus four cos square plus cos c. Okay, na? Then what are it? Is minus cos. Plus two. Then what are it? Is minus. Now it is called a equation in terms of cos c. Here there is no factors. Then how to find the cos c value by using minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2. Okay, na? Now it is a x square plus b x plus c from called a equation. Okay, na? So cos c is equal to minus b. A value four, B value minus one, and C value minus. Okay, na minus B. Okay, na root of B square, B square value minus B plus R minus B square minus four A C divided by two A. It is A value. B value minus one, C value minus. Formula minus B plus R minus root of B square minus four A C divided by two A. Therefore, cos C is equal to one plus R minus root thirty three divided by eight. Okay, na? Cos C minus R minus is a plus. It is a plus R minus. It is a minus one whole square is a plus. It is a thirty two, one plus thirty two, thirty. Therefore, it is one plus r minus. Here, a positive value only exists. Negative does not exist. Why? Because it is one minus root of thirty three. Total negative value. But the cos is in between minus one and plus one only. Here, positive only exists. C is equal to cos inverse one. Plus root thirty three divided by eight. It is a C value. Okay, na? Listen once again. Given function is f of x equal to sine x minus sine two x. And by using rules theorem, by using rules theorem, f dash of c is equal to zero. Okay, na? Derivative of sine is cos minus Derivative of sine two x is a two cos two x. Again, it is a cos two theta formula. You know that cos two theta is equal to two cos square theta minus one. Now it is a after calculation we get four four cos square c minus cos c minus two is equal to zero. 
now it is in quadratic equation form quadratic equation in terms of cos c therefore cos c is equal to by using formula minus b plus r minus root of v square minus 4ac divided by 2a a value 4 b value minus 1 c value minus 2. it is root 33 1 1 plus 30 root 33 divided by 8 find c value it is a cos c is equal to 1 plus r minus root 33 divided by 8 how to find the c value cos inverse of 1 plus root 33 divided by 8 okay write down write down one is fourth question a value of c a value of c fourth one a value of c by Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function f of x is equal to la a value of c for the function by Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function f of x equal to log x or 1 comma 3 interval 1 comma 3 first three problems by using rolls theorem it is by using Lagrange's mean value theorem first given function f of x equal to log x base e or close interval 1 3 how to find C value by using Lagrange's mean value theorem? What is the formula? F dash of C is equal to F of B minus F of A divided by B minus A. Okay, na? F dash of C equal to F of B, B value 3, minus F of A, that is 1, divided by B minus A, that is a 3 minus 1. What about derivative of log x? 1 by x. Okay, na? derivative of log x is 1 by x. But instead of x is 3, is equal to f of 3. It is f of x equal to log x. f of 3, that is log 3. Minus f of 1, f of 1 value log 1 divided by 3 minus 1. What about log 1 value? 0. Log 1 value? 0. 1 by c is equal to log 3 minus 0 divided by 2. What about c value? c is equal to 2 divided by log 3. Log means base is e, that is standard form. Therefore, c is equal to 2 divided by log 3 base, it is a converted to numerator, that is log e base 3. Okay, na? It is 1 by log 3 base, it is converted to numerator, then we get log e base 3. Base, log a base b form. Okay, na? 1 by log a base b. Generally, log a base b is equal to log a by log. Okay, na? It is log e by log, sorry, log 3 divided by log it is converted to numerator we get log e base 3 right next question the value of c fifth question the value of c by lagrange's mean value theorem Value of C by Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function f of x equal to f of x is equal to under root of x square minus 4 and 
B minus C. Okay, na. Derivative of log x, one by x. F dash of C, one by C is equal to F of E. It is F of x equal to log x. F of E that means log E minus F of one that is log one divided by E minus one. One by E, sorry, one by C is equal to log one log E value one minus log one is zero divided by E minus one. So one by C is equal to one divided by E minus one. So clearly C value it is E minus one. Okay, na? It is a by Lagrange's mean value theorem. Lm vt Lagrange's mean value theorem. This is for condition f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. a and b values one and e. Derivative of log x is one by x. f dash of c that is one by x is equal to f of e that is log e minus f of one that is log one. f of e value one sir that means log e value one and log one value zero. One divided by e minus one. Okay, na? One by c is equal to one by e minus one. Clearly, c is equal to e minus one. Okay, right on. Right on. Next, seventh question. The value of c. The value of c by Lagrange's mean value theorem. By Lagrange's mean value theorem. For the function f of x is equal to x into x minus two whole square on zero comma two. Okay, na? The value of c by Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function f of x is equal to x into x minus two whole square on the interval zero comma two. Okay, na? Given function f of x is equal to x into x minus two whole square. After the expansion, we get x cube minus four x square plus four x. It is a minus b whole square form. It is x square. Minus four x plus four. Okay, now x minus two whole square. It is a minus two whole square form. X square minus four x plus four into x. X square into x minus four x into x plus four into x. Okay, now on the interval is zero comma two. Find the value of c. We know that. F dash of c is equal to f of two minus f of zero divided by two minus zero. F dash of c, what about derivative of x cube? Three x square minus derivative of four x square is eight x. That is eight. Derivative of four x that is four is equal to f of two, two into two minus two, na x value two, two into two minus two, so total value c minus f of zero, zero into anything zero divided by two, zero by anything value c, so it is a three c square minus eight c plus four is equal to c. Okay, na it is a quadratic equation form. Then we take factors. 3c square minus 6c minus 2c plus 4 is equal to c. 6 to z. Okay, na minus 6 minus. Then 3c into c minus 2. Again, minus 2 into c minus 2 is equal to c. So clearly, c minus 2 and 3c minus 2 is equal to c. The c value 2. And c value two divided by two. Okay, na? which one is exists? That c value in between given intervals zero and two. 
it is equal to 2 na so it is rejected so clearly c value 2 by 3 it is belongs to 2 to 0 to 2 it is in between 0 to 2 open interval okay na it is equal to 2 but that c value at least one point c belongs to a comma b that is condition so that is mustn should c value in between given interval so 2 is a does not exist c value 2 by 3 only exists. c is equal to 2 by 3 that is in between 0 to 2 so c equal to 2 by 3 only one correct answer okay na? right next question man The value of C next question. The value of C by Lagrange's mean value theorem by Lagrange's mean value theorem For f of x is equal to for f of x is equal to x k minus two x square minus x plus four f of x is equal to x k minus 2x square minus x plus 4 on 1 comma on 0 comma 1 is same Lagrange's mean value theorem by using Lagrange's mean value theorem find the value c first a given function f of x is equal to x minus 2x square minus x plus 4 on given interval 0, 1. What is the condition? f dash of c is equal to f of 1 minus f of 0 divided by 1 minus c. Okay, na? it is a f dash of c equal to f of 1 minus f of 0 divided by 1 minus 0. Okay, na? it is condition to find c value by using Lagrange's mean value theorem. Okay, na? general standard form f of b minus f of a by b minus a. Here b value 1, a value 0. So f dash of derivative of x here 3x square. Derivative of 2x square, it is 4x. Derivative of x value 1. Derivative of 4 constant is 0. Then find f of 1. It is 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 4. F of 1 value. 1 key minus 2 into 1 square minus 1 plus 4. Minus F of 0. 0 divided by 1. So it is a 3C square minus 4C minus 1 is equal to. It is a plus 4 minus 4 remove. Plus 1 minus 1 remove. RHS will get a minus 2. Then it is a 3C square minus 4C plus 1 is equal to C. Minus 1 plus 2 plus 1. Then you take factors. Okay, na? what are the factors? 3C square minus 3C minus C plus 1 is equal to 0. Continuation. 3C into C minus 1. 3C. Come on down. Then by taking comma 3c, then we get c minus 1. Minus 1 into c minus 1 is equal to c. That is a c minus 1 into 3c minus 1 is equal to c. Then c value 1 and c value 1 divided by 3. Here given interval is 0 to 1. So 1 is rejected. Clearly, C is equal to 1 by 3. It is in between 0 to 1. Okay, na? So, here given function, x a minus 2x square minus x plus 4. Find the value of C for this function. 
and the interval is 0 to 1. By using Lagrange's theorem, so formula f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. b value 1, a value c. Such. Then a derivative. Derivative of x cube means 3x square. Derivative of 2x square means 4x. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of 4 constant, it is 0. Then substitute f of 1. The given function is f of x. Then find f of 1. That is 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 2. Minus f of 0. It is 0. It is also 0. It is also 0. Plus 4. Divided by 1 minus 0. That is 1. After calculating, we get this quadratic equation. That is 3c square minus 4c plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, no? Then you take factors. 3. 3, 1, minus 3, minus 1. Okay, no? We get c value 1 and 1 by 3. 2. But this 1 is does not exist in given interval. That c value must and should in between given interval 0 to 1. So 1 is does not exist. So 1 by 3, it is only in between given interval. So 1 by 3 only correct. Right. Okay, no? Today class is completed. Tomorrow we will discuss remaining bits. Then after tomorrow, we will discuss to next another topic that is errors. Okay, no? Tomorrow will be completed. Objective bits on mean value theorem. Okay, no? Today class is completed. Take care. Bye.